This is my nine and a half year old Great Dane. From the time this video was done, she, in four months she'll be ten. She's doing really good. She's got an appetite like no other. She's a bit on the smaller side of female Danes. However, our house has hardwood floors and what wasn't a problem now is a problem as her back end starts to get a bit weaker. She is sliding all over the place and we're trying to fix that. We've got and ordered a couple things. One was a pair of boots and I just ordered a pair for the back end. And here they are. They're all Velcro. Now they look like they will do the job. They have a great flat rubber sole. You know, there's tons of grip there. They have a long strap used to wrap around the ankle. Once the Velcro is done, and uh, I've already tried these out once. I think there's a bit of a learning curve, at least for her, to get used to them. They're a bit tough to put on because it's hard to find a heel to set down inside. And the sizing was tough, but um, I think we've got it. But I'll go ahead and show you what happens if I can recreate it with her without the boots and then we'll go and throw them on and I'll show you what it's like with the boots it kind of she walks like she has high heels or sounds like it but I mean if it does the trick then it's got to be a lot more comfortable than walking around like Bambi on ice so we'll go ahead and show you what it's like without the boots oh my goodness good girl I'll show the back legs. Right now she's standing up pretty straight on them, but they do tend to slip out. Huh? Eyes up. I've got the boot here and I'll try and put it on her when she's lying down. It might be easier to put on her when she's standing up, but uh, I think it'd be probably tough to do recording and trying to put it on. These boots are left and right and it shows an R here on this boot and on the other strap it'll say an L. So we'll try and put this on her. It's always really good like this. She'd be good with kids because she pretty much lets you do anything to her. And she doesn't really care. She's pretty patient. So we'll make sure that all her toes are up there. So the boot just wraps around like this and then there's a really long strip of Velcro here. And uh, to my knowledge you just keep wrapping it around and it'll definitely hold the boot in place perhaps it gives some support but it's got velcro underneath it velcro at the back so we'll just keep wrapping it around until we get it all and that's that. There's the boot. So I'll go ahead and put the other one on her now. And then we'll stand her up and see how it looks. Alright, so we got both of Zoe's boots on. We'll see if we can get her to stand up. I'll show you how they look and how they work. And see if I can put them on while she's laying down. I have a feeling it's probably easier to put them on when she's standing up. But we'll try it out anyway.
Well, here they are again, the Neopods. They do seem to work good. I mean, they're a little bit clunky on her, but I think it might just be because she has to get used to it. It's kind of a neoprene, very breathable, tons of Velcro, so they should stay on. Very grippy sole. And they were sold by Neopause International. That's where I found them. Uh, the lady that actually created them called me twice to confirm everything. She was great. It was really nice. It went easy. She had them here in two days, which was good because I didn't want Zoe slipping around any more than she should have to. I'll put the link for them down in the description. Check them out. I think they're worth it. I say I only wanted to get them for the back. Uh, her front legs are pretty good, pretty strong. I really like them. They're like 40 bucks, I think. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again soon.